I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Monday, June 20th, our scripture is found in the 64th Psalm. Hear my voice, O God, in my complaint. Preserve my life from the dread enemy. Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked, from the scheming of evil evildoers, who wet their tongues like swords, who aim bitter words, words like arrows. Shooting from ambush at the blameless, they shoot suddenly and without fear. They hold fast to their evil purpose. They talk of laying snares secretly, thinking, who can see us? Who can search out our crimes? We have thought out a cunningly conceived plot. For the human heart and mind are deep. But God will shoot his arrow at them. They will be wounded suddenly. Because of their tongue, he will bring them to ruin. All who see them will shake without horror. Then everyone will fear that they, they will tell what God has brought about and ponder what he has done. Let the righteous rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in him. Let all the upright in heart glory. Word of the Lord. Keep your enemies closer. Hear my voice, O God, in my complaint. Preserve my life from the dead, dread enemy. Verse 1. Has this happened to you? You're enjoying a cup of coffee with a friend. When the conversation turns to a controversial political topic. Your companion wants you to know that they have just learned about it on cable TV or social media, implying that if only you knew this too, you'd agree with them. They are wasting their time. I'm not a good target for conversion. And neither are they. Preserve my life from the dread enemy is the second line of today's psalm. What follows is a vivid description of plots, bitterness, and evil purposes. My encounters over coffee with the dread enemy aren't like that. But they can breed enmity. I listen until it seems that my friend has shared what it is that I need to know. Then I ask, can we agree to disagree? A brief silence almost always follows. I fill it by gently saying, I love you. I do. We live together as God's children and are called to love each other, even when it's tempting to be enemies. Our prayer. Christ Jesus, your command to us to love and pray for our enemies is life-giving. We thank you. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.